much. And um, about two days ago, I let you guys know that I was feeling very stuck. And um, getting stuck, it happens to me probably every like seven or eight days, I have one day where I feel what I call stuck. Like I can't figure everything out or I want something too much. It feels, and it, I'm choosing overwhelm, or I'm just feeling really burnt out and stressed out. Just not able to lock into the answers of what I need. And then clarity usually follows the next day. Well, I was very fortunate um, to have a friend, a dear friend and masseuse named Christina Reynolds work on me yesterday, um, which was the day after I was feeling stuck. And so my meditation yesterday came in the form of receiving an hour-long uh, massage from Christina and meditating while I, while I experienced it. And um, then I followed with the, the chanting mantras today, that meditation. And um, a few things I noticed. It's amazing um, how we define stress in our life. So Christina noticed she felt a lot of stress in my body. And at first I took that as a negative thing. Like, oh, Lindsay, you're doing this meditation challenge. You're, and you're still stressed? <laughs> and um, she explained to me that stress doesn't necessarily always come in the form of, you know, feeling bogged down or feeling worried or anxious that um, in the field I'm in, if I'm constantly putting myself in the position of fright or flight at auditions, meetings, um, rehearsals, shoots, um, constantly putting my body through that performance um, state, that performative state, I'm going to be taxing my body. I'm going to be putting stress on it. But it's not necessarily a negative thing. And then I said back to her, and I didn't really put much in it. I was like, yeah, I've been working a lot. I've been acting a lot. I've been, you know, I booked two projects recently. I've been going out on a lot of auditions. And um, I've been rehearsing a lot. And then it hit me. I've been acting a lot. Something I've been wanting since I moved here. And yes, it's on um, a smaller scale to what I want to eventually be doing, but... It's right in line with it. I mean, tomorrow and Monday and Tuesday, I'm shooting um, three days uh, playing the murderer, the, <laughs> the main murderer of this show called uh, Deadly Wives on Biography Channel. <laughs> it's going to be this fun reenactment crime show thing that I'm doing um, with more details to come. But uh, it's a paying acting job, and that's something that I've been... Um, seeking out and wanting all, all year. And it's just been one of a few paid acting jobs that have come into my world as of late. And when I was feeling stuck, the point of this is that when I was feeling stuck two days ago, it was because I have one thing that I really, really, really want. One project that I'm, that I'm just, it's like the project I want this year more than anything else. And I've done everything I can do and I have to relinquish control and, and just trust that if it's meant for my highest good, I will attract that role in that project ultimately this year. But when I said this just so candidly to um, and casually to um, Christina, it dawned on me, I have a lot to be grateful for. I have a lot to appreciate just as is. And then at the end of this meditation, this uh, massage, meditation yesterday a voice just rang out to me and said it's coming it's coming so yeah and today was I just had fun today I just had a fun time letting the mantra just kind of pour over me it wasn't one that we chanted we just received so where can you be appreciative and grateful with what you already have while you are in hot pursuit of your goal, 